if you've got a fairly complicated algorithm in front of you and you need to figure out what it's doing, then what you probably need to use is a trace table, particularly if that algorithm uses any form of iteration, so any form of loops. So let's give you an example of one of them now. Uh, I'll move it over a little bit, and this is the algorithm we're going to work off. And the first thing I need to set up uh, or think about when I'm creating my trace table is what variables I need to keep track of. I've got a variable here, I've got a variable here, so I know I've got A and I've got B to keep track of. Uh, and I know here I'm outputting something, so you want to see what uh, what is being outputted and when as well. That's important to also include in a trace table. So I've got my variables and my outputs and the algorithm set as headings for my table. And you'll see now I start to make a table just like this. There's my columns uh, and there's my headers. And I'm, I'm ready to go actually. Let's have a look then. I've got A equals five and B equals three. What I would suggest, just set your variables up before the loop as you'd expect them. So A equals five, and B equals three. That's all on one line, that's fine. I haven't printed anything yet, so this is blank. Our next line of code then, so we started up here, didn't we? We did um, A equals five, and then we moved to B equals three. Our next line of code is this, whilst A is greater than two. So that begs the question, is A at the moment greater than two? Yes, it is, because look, it's got uh, currently got the value five. So I know I'm good to go on, I'm good to go into this loop. So I'm going to the next line of code now. So B equals B plus two. All right, so here now I change, I cross that out and I add two to B and I'm keeping track of what is in B now. So A is five and B is five. Next line of code, A equals A minus one, that one there. I cross out five in my A column because A is now changing and that has got the value four. We're moving on, we're going to the next line of code and this is end while uh, line. So that means I go back up to the top. If you remember, if you've seen the video about iteration, I go back up to the top because there's a while loop and I check again whilst A is greater than two. Is A greater than two? Yes, it is, it's four. And I keep doing this, I keep going along. B equals B plus two, so that means that's now seven. A equals A minus one. That means that is now three. And I keep following along with my truth table. I keep sort of like just going through each line of code, seeing where I am and updating the values in the columns. So A greater than two, yes it is, because at the moment I can see there it's three. Adding another two to, uh, to B, so that is now nine. A is A minus one, so that's gonna be two. And that makes this next time round the loop, I'm gonna go to end while there, go back up there, this make, that makes this more interesting. Whilst A greater than two, is A now greater than two? No, it is equal to two. So now I don't do this line of code next. If you've done the iteration, seen the iteration video, I go down to here. I skip past the end of my while loop because that condition there, the A is greater than two is no longer true. I only go in that loop whilst that condition is true. And so that means I'm on this line here, print B. Okay, well, what's the value of B at the moment? It is nine. So I put nine there. And that is how you follow along with the trace table. You have your, your columns up here, your headings for them are all the variables that you need and the outputs. You keep going around your loop. You put in the new values as you're going along so you know which loop is the current value in the uh, in the in the variables because there'll be one at the bottom of the table and that way you can effectively uh, trace and test uh, an algorithm. So there are your trace tables. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.